Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to explain some basic information about lighting and lighting your subject for drawing. As you can see, this is a cup. Nothing uh, special about it, it's just a cup. But you can also see, or should be able to see, that there's a shadow here on the surface. This means that the light is coming from this direction. It's coming from the ceiling from a fluorescent tube, which is a diff diffused light. It's not uh, a specific focused light like a spotlight or something of that nature. You can see that it's slightly lighter around this area here. That is because this white area below the cup is reflecting onto it and other things in the room are reflecting across here but the one thing to notice is there's a light line across the top of the cup there there is a highlight there and there is a highlight there there's a highlight on the handle there's a light line along the handle these are the things that make it distinctive and these are the areas you need to look at when you're drawing a subject of this nature. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a spotlight onto it. Now the whole thing changes. This becomes darker around the top. This becomes very much lighter. There is a highlight there on the surface and this is much darker down this side. This is lighter here. This lighter area against that like darker background makes this stand out and makes it more prominent. This darker area makes that more prominent as well. Also, because the light is coming from this direction, in this way, it's making this darker area here and it's almost in a line. Although it's a faded line, it's almost in a line because the light is coming from the direction of the spotlight. And there, it's, it's going past the edge of the cup. So it's not reflecting off that side of the cup. And as it comes further around, it gets darker. By there, it's really quite dark. Much darker than it is by here, because there's less light hitting it. Because it's actually opposite. It's behind this part, which is being lighted or lit behind this part which is being lit making this part darker now I'll turn the main light off that is coming from the ceiling and it will take an even more dramatic effect now it is very dark but also these marks or these dark areas are in the same places as they were when the main light was on but that shadow behind the cup is much bigger and much more prominent much darker this gives you a lot more information and helps you to draw this cup much better if you can draw those darker areas as dark as that and as light as that then that gives you a lot of contrast in your tonal variation you can go from uh, a medium like sort of mid-tone here to an almost black there but if you look along the edge there there seems to be a white if you can see it on the camera there seems to be like a white glow that helps to, to, to define the difference between that and the background because the background is slightly grey and that's a lot darker and a lot greyer, almost black, or it looks that way in the camera. And lighting subjects with a spotlight can make them really more dramatic and it's worth experimenting with when you're doing your drawing because it actually gives you more information about <clears throat> the light in the subject. You can see that there is a reflection there, highlight, and there's a reflection there. And coming down the side here, 
these are all elements that will make your drawing seem more three-dimensional and make it seem more realistic and because the information is there in the subject that you are looking at it makes it much easier to reproduce that onto a piece of paper when doing your drawing. I hope this video has been helpful to you and I hope that you do actually have a try and test out some drawing techniques using a spotlight. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.